In this video, I am going to show how to use JOption Pane to print out information. Up to this point, we use it to get information from the user. There's an option or a way to actually print information out. So I have a simple program here that takes uh, two integers, adds them up, 10 and 20, and prints out their sum, which when I compile it and run it, it gives us an answer of 30. Okay, so we get a system.out.println uh, thing here. Uh, I'm going to show another way to print things out. Uh, that being said, system.out.println is actually the nice, easy way to print things out for debugging. This is a very useful tool to use for debugging. What I'm going to show you now is just for final output, uh, and it looks a little bit fancier, but this is still very useful for debugging. So that said, I'm going to I'm going to use first of all, I'm going to import um, Java X Java extension dot uh, swing dot j option pane that package. Okay. And then once I have it, I'm going to say j option pane dot. Now I'm going to show a message dialog, and it takes a couple of parameters. The first is null. The second is basically this thing right there. Whatever I was using a print line, I can just I'm going to copy it. Basically, just take the exact same thing. Uh, the next is the third thing is what you want to appear in the title bar of the. Uh, um, of the dialog box, I'm going to say um, the summing program. Okay, and then finally, an icon in the box. I'm going to say J option pane dot, and I'm going to use a uh, plain dot message. Okay, so it takes this null parameter. Uh, this is just what you'd put in a uh, system.out.print line, something that goes in the title bar, and then an icon. So let's save it, compile it, close it, and let's run it. And you can see, well, I have my still have my system.out.print line, but you can see here I have my uh, dialog box with the title that I put, so you can put any title you want there. And plain message means no icon. So let's go in and let's see what other icons I can do. Uh, put in there okay I'll try a uh, there's actually a couple different ones there's dot error message there's dot information message there's dot warning message and there's uh, dot question okay and plain message so I'm going to change this plain which was basically nothing. I'll change it to a warning message. Okay, and you can try these on your own there. I'll just do one of those. Save, compile, close, and let's run it and see what happens. So I get a little warning message there with the little icon. Okay, so it's kind of fun. So just a different way to to um, uh, print things out. And one note here, one final note. You'll notice that this is uh, printing a string. Okay, and so this sum is technically a, an integer right there. But system.out.println and show message dialog stringify it, or basically turn it into a string for printing purposes. Uh, and so both of these do the same thing with, with, the, uh, with the sum there. So that's another way to print things out. Again, system.out.println is the nice and quick and easy way to print things out in, in the debugging process. For final output of your program, the J option pane is nice. Um, so at this point, you might be wondering, well, how do I know all of this, and how do I know how to use these things? Well. If I go to my website here, I'll pull it over here, I'll show you how to find things. If I click on the AP Computer Science link, I'll go down to the complete Java API, Application Programming Interface, basically the quick reference for all of Java. And under all classes, I'll scroll down, keep scrolling way down, there's a ton here you can see. And H I J J Option, J Toolbar, J Option, where is that? J-Option Pane, if I click that, here I'll get a complete description of J-Option Pane um, and all the different things you can do with it. Here's all the ones you just saw. Error message, info, information, warning, question, plane. Okay, and it talks about all the different things including that null you saw. Okay, so you can take a look at some of these examples, but that's how you uh, can look up different uh, classes in Java and find out how they work. Um, of course, there's many here, and you know, as you go along the program, you can find different ones that are useful for you that you can use. So that's an introduction to JOptionPane.ShowMessageDialog.